we take this very seriously and it will not be tolerated. Um, the agent has resigned and I can't stress enough that he no longer is an employee with our agency. One of Oklahoma's own drug agents is on the other side of the law tonight. He's accused of smuggling guns into Mexico, possibly into the hands of drug cartels. The court documents pull back the curtain on the agent living a double life while working for the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics. Rusty Surrett joins us now with a story. This has been a surprising development today, Rusty. It has been a surprise for a lot of people, and here's what we know at this hour. His name is Francisco Javier Reyes Lunas. He is a 29-year-old that's living in downtown Oklahoma City. And up until tonight, he was working as an undercover agent for the state. Well, now we know he is facing several federal gun charges, and there's more. There are these court documents right here that detail a suspicious death in Stillwater that could be connected to his crimes. We were contacted last night, uh, Monday night, by the federal authorities that they had uh, one of our agents in custody um, on federal gun charges. The Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics reacting to news that one of their own is an accused criminal. One who sources say was smuggling and selling weapons to Mexico, possibly to members of Mexican drug cartels. Very, very concerned to us because, uh, you know, we, we are a family and, and uh, you know, we're a tight-knit group. Um, so if, if the allegations are true, you know, it won't be tolerated, but it's also very, very concerning and surprising to us. Francisco Luna, who also goes by the name of Frank Reyes, lives here at the Regency Tower in downtown Oklahoma City. ATF agents say it's here and locations across the state. Reyes would pay others to purchase guns and then complete the work to have the weapons sent to Mexico. A number of the assault rifles he's accused of sending to Mexico were purchased at gun stores across Oklahoma. Court documents also detail the death of a man in Stillwater earlier this year. The widow of that man told ATF agents her husband would buy guns for Reyes and following his death, she was warned to get out of the house because she was in danger. The same man who warned her said her husband was dead because he didn't meet his quota for the month and owed money. Ray has appeared before a federal judge Tuesday afternoon. He is facing three counts of federal firearm violations. All three counts carry a sentence of five to ten years in prison. He is now released on a $25,000 bond. And here's what else we do know about Reyes. He began working for OBN in 2007. He worked as an undercover agent and most recently patrolled the highways. Those who know him call him reserved, sometimes quiet. And under the conditions of his release, Reyes is not allowed to possess any firearms. He cannot apply for a passport, and he is under house arrest and will be closely monitored by federal authorities. Kelly. All right, Rusty. We know Reyes is scheduled to be back in court in three weeks. And if you'd like to read the criminal complaint against him, we've posted the 33-page document at News9.com slash link.